Hey guys, this is going to be an explanation of where to collect every single rare candy in Pokemon Black 2 and White 2, excluding the Gear Station, the Pokemon World Tournament and Joint Avenue. To get the rare candy from the Harlequin Hunt, or the Jester Hunt, depending on what you want to call it, or well, they can be seen as clowns. First of all, the far, most far left road goes straight into the metal office and use the elevator and go to the second floor. If you go to the second floor, the Harlequin will be on your right, as you can see now. You talk to him to find your first clown. And now back to the first floor and leave the building. So now you want to head back to the main street and then turn right at the end and head to the first entrable building right here. As you can see, Harlequin's standing right there. Lastly, you want to go to the next entrable building on the main road, street even. Head straight in and on your right, the Harlequin will be here. If this is your first time entering Castelia City, then maybe, just maybe, you'll get the EXP share. That's a good possibility. And speak back to the Harlequin. And you completed the Castle Harlequin hunt. So you got a rare candy. In the Abundant Shrine, head straight up the steps and past this patch of grass and up the next set of steps and turn left. You want to go past these two twin battle trainers here and up the steps and around if you don't want to battle that trainer and up the next lot of steps. Then if you go straight north, you'll go up some more steps and then you'll hit a patch of water on your right. You surf, surf straight across the water and there will be someone here who isn't a trainer so you don't have to worry about them. But if they ever move, I'll show you how to get to the rare candy. Come on, come on trainer, there we go. And here's your rare candy. To get the rare candy in the dream yard, all you want to do is go up to this first tree, cut that down. And then go straight through this building and to your left. And it's this first item ball here. To find the rare candy in the Moor of Icarus, you want to head straight to the right and then up. And there's your rare candy. For the rare candy in Pinwheel Forest, all you do is go straight down from the entrance, straight past these guys and through this little entrance here in the fence. Then you go down these steps here, over the wild grass, past this trainer and down these steps here. And then up these steps and straight around and down those steps. And then in this tuft of grass here, in this one I'm just trying to surround from every possible angle. You will get a rare candy. From the Pokemon World Tournament entrance you're going to want to go into Relic Passage and go right down the steps. You're going to want to take the upper of the two because you're going to have to use strength otherwise and head down into this next floor of the dungeon. Now head straight down and to the right and carry on going right and down again and head right and all the way down. Now if you follow this path you're going to end up at another dungeon entrance up the steps. Now once again follow this route it's only pretty much one way to go and take care not to jump down the ledges. At the bottom of it turn right push the uh, stone into the little hole and head up and then you will enter one last room where there's going to be three different items with one of them being a rare candy. Now if you go for the middle one, there's your rare candy. To get the rare candy on Route 12 you want to go east straight from Lekanosa Town, switch in your Dyson -so machine and right here will be the rare candy. Okay, so this one's a bit of a long one. What you want to do on Route 17, you want to surf and you want to follow the path all the way around. Try not to jump into too many trainer battles. But I think they're all avoidable at this on the water, but um, I've already done some of them. And you want to go follow this bottom path here and you'll jump over here. 
and then onto the land, and then there is some unavoidable battles, I believe, but hopefully I've already done all of them. And you go straight across and down this little bridge opposite the house. If you go in that house, there will be someone who heals your Pokemon anyway. And then push this big boulder into the hole like I've already done, and go all the way across here. And if you look at the dowsing machine, you'll see that there's an item right here. This is your Andy. On Route 20, during March, July and November, or as the game calls it, Autumn, even though that seems a bit weird, you can surf on the south of Route 20, and if you go slightly to the right, you will find a big leafy area. In this leafy area here, watch out for the trainers. On the left is a Pokeball containing a wreck Andy. On Route 22, head straight to the left and up the steps. Once there, go up and down the little ledge and past this trainer on the left and head down the steps again. Now, if you haven't battled Terrakion Hill, he'll be there, but if you just head to this little ledge and jump down, here's your wreck Andy. On Route 23, straight out of Giant Chasm, over the bridge and follow the path up. Now, you're going to battle a few trainers on the way, but I've already battled them and you're going to need the experience soon if you're on your way to the Elite Four anyway. So follow the path round and go up the steps, battle this Ace Trainer, then head straight to the right and open your Dowsing Machine to find the Rare Candy here, hidden in the flowers. To get this hidden Rare Candy, all you're going to need to do is cross the bridge and then go straight north. I'm going to try and avoid the Trainer Battles because I don't think I've done them in this area. And then go right, and as you can see on the Dowsing Machine below, then it's over here and we don't want to get caught in this trainer battle either and it's here on this spot here so if you go one left to the sandcastle straight down from there so I can't go right but if I go down then Tom found a rare candy for the second and final rare candy on this route just go slightly right of the sandbox that we was just in go into the school ignore all the little children and go straight here so I'm found a rare candy. To get the rare candy on Route 8, what you want to do, you want to go straight across and try and avoid as many trainers as possible. And go up and around. And it will be, if we turn on the dicey machine, right in front of us. On a Sunday evening, you can board the Royal Unova in Castellia City. Uh, you could actually any evening, but on a Sunday, after beating all of the uh, available trainers, you will get a rare candy. Now, finding the trainers isn't too hard, but you have to make sure that you do it before all five whistles blow. As you can see, it parts its way with Castilia City and goes on its cruise. So you have to defeat every single trainer on board before the fifth whistle blow because that's when it will be returning back to Castalia. As I said, if you do this on a Sunday, you gain a rare candy. Entering Seaside Cave, go left and straight down to the next floor. Now if you carry on going down and straight across here, you strengthen that boulder and past this battle girl and then you have a few more boulders to push but this is like the world's easiest strength puzzle straight up and there's your air candy now this one might take a bit of puzzle solving but after you've opened up the correct rooms in the strange house enter this room on the top right hand corner and straight in that room will be your air candy For one of the rare candies in Victory Road, you want to head straight down past all of this and into this first cave on the left. Then follow this path around until you reach some water, which is here. Now if you surf on this water, then straight at the bottom will be the item ball containing the rare candy that you wish. For the other rare candy in Victory Road, you're going to want to head left from where you were before down the steps and past this battle girl here down the steps and right and up now this rock right here is going to be the one that contains your rare candy to get the rare candy at village bridge head straight south from the eastern exit and skip through the courts and then 
go south and exit. Then you want to carry on up through under the bridge, past this trainer here, straight to the right and past this person playing some kind of instrument and here's your Ekandi. From the Pokemon Center in Verbank City, head straight south, past the first passage and down the right one. Now go down the steps and follow the path straight up and around and before you get to the boat you surf and travel north and then you'll be at a few steps and you'll be able to reach another rare candy. Finally after getting every single Pokemon seen in your Pokedex in Unova you can get the permit from Professor Juniper, head on the plane and fly over to the Nature Preserve. And then from there, go straight north, you surf, and head to your right. Once heading to your right, you can find a waterfall. Use waterfall on that with your favourite Pokemon. And at the top of that will be your reward, your final rare candy. Thanks for watching guys, this has been TC Shad IRL. If you've liked the video, go over to my channel and subscribe, subscribe to Canada University, and I'll see you next time.